What is going on guys? Welcome back to another NBA 2K21 Senate Beast here. As we we're officially saying that I recently got a notification on my phone and it says that the All-Star will be coming in tomorrow and to make your votes. So looks like I thought that I thought the NBA All-Star just got cancelled right now. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. For those of you who are just tuning into the All-Star game, All-Star voting begins, just begin or just begun already, but it looks like the game is on its way, so <laughs> thanks for asking me. I thought it's going to be canceled. Well, I'm not sure about the NHL. Looks like the NHL 2021 All-Star might be canceled as well. Hmm. It, it seems like, uh, it seems like the... It seems like each games that I just remember on the on the day of 29th for NHL, they will not be doing the All Star in 2021 for the NHL in Florida, the home of the Panthers. So yeah, that's the only reason that I will that it's not going to be on here, and that is the biggest problem that I will never see the uh, game of the NHL All Star 2021 in Florida. So it looks like only NBA will be officially continue during the off season of 2020 before before the day to debut of 2020 to 21, as it will be the home of the Pacers here in uh, here in, Indi in Indiana by Indianapolis for a, for their 2021 All Star. That's right. This is where I just never seen it before. This is where I'm just getting a little bit un unlucky to look for another game. But it looks like there's nothing else to change about while we were seeing a lot of games around here. So here are the next game that we are seeing. It's the Utah Jazz facing on against the Washington Wizards. As of right now, Russell Westbrook is on the Wizards after John Wall is playing with the Rockets. So it looks like we got some new changes already. Let's take a look and see what we have. We have Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Bo John Bogdanovich, Royce O'Neal, and Rudy Gobert. That's the one on the Utah side. And for your Washington Wizards, we have this Russell Westbrook, Jeremy Robinson, Bradley Beal, Isaac Bonga, and Robin Lopez. Now his brother is playing with the Wizards. No, he's not back with the Bucks. Sorry, but that's that's the way it goes. So it looks like I will be trying to give it a good look here to go for the DC and and their team, also City as well. You've never seen that one before, but it looks like I'm going to be playing as the Wizards. And yes, this is the last time that the Wizards beat the Suns in season one with the last game of the NBA 2K17. But it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on right around us. And you guys remember this one for at that moment. You know, there's a lot much uh, much to it that we are getting that you are getting into. Not just much uh, going on around here. There's a lot of um, players that just continue just right on the head. Still playing on the same team, but different contracts putting in. The rest of the lineups will be Matthew is Matthews, Len, Neto. Winston, Jill, Bell, Ajiva, which of course you see the plus sign the with uh, Hachimura. That means those two guys are just having a little concerning issues about, about COVID-19 by the vaccine. So it's a little bit of understanding. I'm not sure if this is the right call. So yeah, those two right here, they are injured and they will be not be playing the game at that moment. They're out for the season. They are consider considering about the COVID-19. That could be the tr that could be a true thing. We'll see what that happens. On the other hand, is Clarkson, Ingles, Favors, Yang, and Harrison. That's all we need to know. Now let's get the game in Washington D.C. Starting off with the Jazz at point out point forward. 23, Royce O'Neal. I can hear him playing jazz music up there. 
Small four, Boja Mogdanovich. Point guard, number 10, Mike Conley. Looks like they're playing jazz on here. I can't believe it. Shooting guard, number 45, Donovan Mitchell. And center, Rudy Gobert, number 27. And for your head coach, for the Utah Jazz, Quinn Snyder. Yeah, I can hear him playing the jazz on here. That's really unique. And now, here are your lineups. Starting off the Washington Wizards. Star Pope. Six foot eight, number seventeen, Isaac Bunga. Starting shooting guard, six foot three inches, number twelve, Jeremy Robinson. Starting center, seven foot seven inches, number fifteen, Robin Lopez. Point guard, six foot three inches, number four, Russell Westbrook. Number four position, six foot three inches, number three, Bradley Beal. And your head coach for the Washington Wizards, Scott Brooks. Let's hear it for your Washington Wizards! Okay, that's enough announcer. Let's just get right into it. I'm just pretending. Back at the Capital One Arena, turning out to be quite starring an amazing day tonight. So let's get to DA and see what he has. Thank you very much. We know Rudy Gobert is ultra competitive, but he knows it's not about winning his individual matchup. He said, it's a five-on-five five game, a team concept. That's always been my mindset. Obviously, I take pride in being the best defensive player in this league, but I play to win. That's my focus. Kevin? Thanks, Dave. Thank you, DA. It looks like it turns out to be Rudy Gobert that has his short time and percentage. So let's have a look at Jordan Clarkson for this season. That was 17.2. A little bit close up between last five games after playing uh, um, many seasons ago, after trading it off from the Cleveland Cavaliers. They know they got their, they got something going on. What do they do? Well, we have no idea, so that's the answer to the question. Bradley Beal, and of course, Bogdanovich were key matchups on the, uh, on the small forward section. Wynn Snyder, you guys know about one six career with the Utah. Amazing career record for uh, Snyder. Not quitting with the Jazz. He's still he's still helping the teams out. Yeah, we're definitely talking about that one. Here we go, tip off. Jazz got one. Utah is going to hit the ball first, and we are on our way to DC. But the first shot for Donovan Mitchell is no good. Got a mascot back from the, uh, from the Washington Wizards. That's the bongo. Moves around over Conley. One more point down. That will be the first pointer for Bongo. Commentators Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Harley. O'Neal missed the shot. Great T for, for the Wizards. Around again. Here's Bongo. Outside of Beal. Now he moves to Westbrook. Westbrook going over Bogdanovich. And it's it's a nice shot for, for Westbrook. First pointer. Yeah, frustrated to be here with the Rockets. He would have been staying up for two years, but it just turned out short. So Russell Westbrook seemed like it didn't work out for him. This happened Tuesday after Mike Conley is picking up 19 points. Mitchell with the dunk and in the paint. We have a two-pointer. Westbrook coming back around. Pass to Beal. Right over to Robinson. 
Robinson against Mitchell. Moves up to the Mitchell. Friday rebound, Bonga has got a ball. Pass to Westbrook. Westbrook. Outside, Beal. Beal for three. Rebounded by Westbrook. And another shot. And a shot goes in. Saving recover for Westbrook after Bradley Beal misses the three. We're just about on the court for just two minutes on the, uh, on the in the first period. Two screens, that's not gonna work. Shots good for Donovan Mitchell. The number two pointer, and that's four points. 446 to play. Here is Westbrook. Trying to get off to a fast start. He can help with that. Now here's Westbrook. Bounce pass to Bongo. Moves over. Jump was short, and it's Colbert with the rebound. Bogdanovich over Beal. Beal takes the ball away from Bogdanovich. Two on one, here we go. Good shot here for Lopez. What a nice two on one fast break. That's where, that's where they have the team out to get recovered. Great steal for Bradley Beal. That's the first, that's the first steal. Mitchell going for fade away, but it's off. Robinson picking up a rebound after Bonga is helping him out. Failed to connect over here for Utah. Here's Lopez. Bounce pass to Beal. Outside Robinson. Robinson over O'Neal. That one's going to go off the target if Bogdanovich pick up another rebound. Make another easy look for Bogdanovich, and it's no good. Many misses coming up for the opportunity here for the Utah Jazz to pick it up. Bounce pass to Robinson. Robinson over, and the ball is loose. Bogdanovich got the ball back. Conley moving over to Mitchell. Mitchell for two. And it's off the target. Westbrook has got three, three rebounds this far. That far. Outside Westbrook. Pass over to Robinson. Helping your teammate with the screen. And solid play here for Robinson. Picking up another two point. Field goals for Jazz and Wizards. Only 56 for the Wizards. Timeout calling on Utah. That'll be their first timeout. Just 2.43 left. And yes, we talked about it before, but John Wall had a strength on set. Just been pulling it out just hard enough that he was going for, for a win. Maybe he had a lot of had a lot of time before before he was been recovered out with the Wizards. Back in a couple seasons before trading. To the up to the Rockets. That's more of what you can understand about them, because you know John Wall is putting a wall defensive, trying to pull it up and over on them. And yes, season two they finally beat against the Hornets in, um, in season two, and season three they beat against the Heat. But in season four now they lost against the Clippers in the home team. That's a little bit more un unusual that we are looking at. Oh, and, uh, and Gil, yeah, I forgot about that. That's it. Now we're gonna make some new changes here. Here's some stats for Mitchell. Maybe it's set out off the bar. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but that's more what I was what I was thinking about that. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. It's not the monster game that we see. Favors is on the court with Clarkson, Yang, and, and of course Eagles. Six points here for Mitchell as a starting Under two furry left. Here's uh here's Neto. He bounce pass. Oh, Len got to recover. It almost tipped off the bounce pass. Solid through, and Neto's got his first pointer in the bucket. Solid layup here. Not really early. Clarkson coming back around after the last five games in a row. Favors against Len. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Mitchell up. Oh, he went around around Neto. 
Wow, Donovan Mitchell was seemed like that he was going to go right for the target, right up, up and over, and say, "Hey, look out below!" But he did not see that coming. He never showed it up. He didn't take a block at that point. Matthews, he uses the first score on the side. Off to 16. Washington again making another shot. That'll be Neto's second bucket. Clarkson against Neto. Now here's Clarkson, rolls it up, and counts it in. I'm telling that Jordan Clarkson is getting a little bit better at that point. Trying to help the team to win it. Quarter is coming down to the end, so we are down to one minute on the court. It's very nice to see the Washington Wizards logo on the on the uh, mid on the, on the uh, mid court without showing DC in it. That's that's very nice to see on here. Mitchell again. Oh, he's gonna do it two times in a row. I didn't see that coming either. Look how Mitchell's doing here. Bam! That's went right in. Land right up, right across in the wing. To Beal. Beal for baseline, and it's good. That'll be another two-pointer for Beal. Great pass here by by Len. 30 seconds to play. 18 to 12 is your score. Ingles going for two. No shot here. And so it's Beal. Beal on the around the upper end, only 20 seconds. Bounce pass to Gill. Rolls it up. Good look. Great drive. Gill's got his first two pointer. That's a great play without traveling the ball. That's very good. Three seconds to go. Mitchell. Oh, he made the three. That's 13. That's, that's another first three-pointer, 15 to 20 coming in. Oh, hit the rim. Didn't quite make the buzz beater. That's going to be the end of the first quarter, 20 to 15. Not 20 15, 20 to 15. Get that right. Second quarter coming up. An interview with Donovan Mitchell. Here's an interview. Should be or will be, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to be able to focus on us. You know, uh, obviously, we went through a little bit of a rough patch, you know, we're still figuring things out, but we can make adjustments and continue to build. And I think we're playing great basketball, and I think we're doing things the right way. And you know, Mitchell is doing really hard on the court. When he talked to Rudy Gobert at this point, he says, Are you just trying to go on? Are you trying to pick up the progress? Mitchell's got his point. He said, you know what? That's a good choice. I I am trying to get my progress. I have a little bit more in mind. I practice a lot. I try to get better. I don't I don't trust if I um, if I take a take a negative things away from us. The negative things didn't really mean that, that he's going to take it away and go and go for a shot. He has to pass for them. That's the only thing. Donovan Mitchell's got his first, got another pointer, 15 points starting in the second quarter. Beal passing over to Matthews. I do a motion. Land, first drive. Fouls coming on Favors. His first foul on Utah. Land, it will be shooting two coming up in the line. Len, first time on here. I'm not sure if this is his first first time going for a two pointer at the free throw line. I I'm not sure. Here we go. We'll see what Len has. Shooting number two. First free throw was off. Now they're making new changes. Mitchell, Dang, Favors are, check, are checked out. Conley, Bogdanovich, and Gobert are checked in. Matthews and Beal are making some change. Westbrook and Matthews on the small forward. 
And the second Only free one throw. free throw for Len. And that will be one pointer for Len to start off in the second quarter. A little bit hard on the offense that you make up here. A little bit tight. Gobert to Conley. Conley going over it. Clarkson for three. Uh, oh, the putback for Gobert and in. Great, great recover for Gobert as that will be his first two pointer. After recover by Clarkson. Wizards lead by four. Wizards lead by four. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Bonga trying to uh, trying to show him off how it's done. But the, but the shot was off on Bonga. I don't know if that is right. Kindly missing the shot. Bonga changing around a bit. Moving around a bit, just a little bit off the target here. Winston. Winston, moving in. Drugging it. And made a shot. Clarkson coming back the other way as Jazz lead by six. Clarkson rolling over to McDonovich. McDonovich coming in the paint. He's got the shot. That's a two pointer for McDonovich again. Now they're down by four. Russell Westbrook scanning the floor. No picking offense. Winston going for three. The shot's good. And it is. Three pointer for Winston. Assist by Westbrook. Now they are now they're up ahead by seven. Timeout for Utah. 422 left. Westbrook has got some good favors out there. Just without just playing without uh, KD and James Harden. But the comeback that was I was talking about, it was uh, no, I don't think Alex Lennon was the first time playing with the Wizards, but many times on, on the Kings. That might be the only symbol. Anyway, I will sub him out with Fonda. Now I will let uh, Gil come in. And then Matthews I will sub out and bring in Beal. That's the only that's the only chance I have to do that. Pick up the average. Let's let's try to live it. And let's go some pick, let's do some pick and rolls here. Go on auto. That's the only thing that happened. We remember that one, Washington Bullets. Well, they're no longer named anymore. They now change it to Wizards. I will do that flashback a little bit later if I had time or not. Because you may never know what will happen. Here's the Western Conference standings here. Only 13 wins for Utah. Great start for the season. And the Western and the Eastern Conference, just a little bit off the topic for the Wizards to pick it up from here. Only first place was my favorite, Sixers. That's right. Oh! Oh! Yeah, we got a Clarkson with the reverse layup. Lap block, that was on Gill. What a, what a great defensive recovery that he's putting up here. But that was a steal on... Probably on Conley. It looks like I'm going to have to try to uh, watch that one again. Let's see what happens that time. Lopez with a reverse layup. It's 350 left. Three assists tonight. That's crazy. Enough. Winston against Conley. Conley only takes the layup and not a dunk. Missed two attempts at this point. Now got a point. Westbrook coming back around again. Have to make some floppy moves here. Beal for three, step back, and it's good. That was another three-pointer for the Wizards to pick up. Beal has got seven points, assist by Westbrook. And now we change up here, Bogdanovich over to Gobert, and Gobert takes a drive, assist by Bogdanovich. Under three minutes to play here, 33 to 27 is your score. Winston bounce past the Beal. Beal looking off the target here, but has to find somebody else out. 
Lopez left side. Now he finds Lopez. Shot clock at six. Move around. Shots off. Rudy Gobert. And Rudy Gobert took it the ball away. A lot of battling going on with the rebound on the ball to ball. Bogdanovich with the miss of the three opportunity. Beal turning around the other way. And Lopez. Here's DA. Was a pro in Europe for a decade before he joined the NBA. Horatio Sharpshooter says a lot of players who are happy over there, but I wanted to have another challenge to play against the best in the world. That was the only thing that was important to me. As he's lived up to that promise. He loves that He loves it anyway. But John is just like picking up on the course so on the one. Never wanted to play with the Pacers again, but wanted to play back with the Jazz. Looks like I had nothing to, to tell about it before without the King supporter. It didn't happen that before or many times in a row. I wasn't thinking this wasn't going to happen again. Too much to hear. There's nothing else I, that I wanted to mention. Well, it looks like I'm telling you that Mike Conley has got his hair. What's wrong with her hair? I thought he likes it. Well, now he's got a fresh haircut. I don't know what happened already, but that's more of what I was thinking. Too much to hear, and that's more, that's the way it goes. Only one change here for the Wizards. Three players are summing out. We have Mitchell, Yang, and Favors. And new changes here, Robinson, Bonga, and Neto on the court. Another miss by Washington, and now Mitchell's going to go back for the fast break. Wow, Mitchell's got it up close right now. 17 points, 10 in the paint. Neto coming back around. That's the bonga. Oh, bonga! Oh, he was never going to do it that time, but he did. What a nice shot here for bonga. Going around, in and out, from paint to paint. Paint to, paint to a man on deep. That's more what I was feeling like. This is never going to happen. Well, shot was good, but the foul's going to go on Robin Lopez, this first. That was Niang that picked up his first two. Another two-pointer. He made a count in the basket. And now he will be shooting only one free throw. Just stopped the clock at like 1.13 left. Now they're just coming in close. Yang has picked up one, and now this turns to be a close call, 35 to 34. Beal, going back in the lane, Vanga helps the screen. Up and again, oh, tipped it off the rim, and it missed. O'Neal Mitchell for three, in the lead! What a nice shot here for Mitchell, and now they lead up by two with just 50 seconds. Mitchell on the streak. What a nice play he's doing. Pass to Bonga. Rolls it up, and he ties it up. Bonga's got another point. Assist by Beal. Here's Mitchell. He's got 20. Now they got to pick it up in the league right now. We haven't seen any game in overtime. Mitchell against, against, uh, and it looks like Mitchell is doing it again. Pushing the basketball, Pushing the basketball in and out, trying to go for a D without John Wall. 20 seconds to play in the first half. Beal, pass over to Bonga. Back to Beal, back to Bonga. Good ball moving here for the Wizards. Meadow, Beal. With the two, with the buzz beater, and he made it! He just tied it up by 39, and no lead changing here for the Jazz or Wizards to pick it up in the second half ending. First half ending. So it looks like that was a close neck and neck call. Let's send it over to David Elgin and see what we have on the court side. David. 
Thanks very much. Bradley, good flow and good pace in the first half. Exactly the guys you want to play. What's going right? Alright, so over looks. Uh, being aggressive. They're going to get to the basket a few times. The guys are not going to open shots when we don't have an opportunity. So, the shots are actually fun. So, that's what it is. Love to see it when your shots go in. Thanks, Bradley. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. We'll be back here in Washington, D.C. Don't go anywhere. We will be back in the second half. Welcome back to another. Welcome back. And we are starting with the third quarter. Last time I took a look at a review at the second half, and it was Bogdanovich with a steal. And he passed it over to Clarkson that time. So, yeah, I was expecting this was going to happen. I thought that was Mitchell that was stealing the ball again. Now he's got 22 points. Looks like we're going to have to find out in the third quarter if one of each team could pick up the lead. We'll discuss it more details when we get back up to another game in the NBA. Oh, Westbrook! Look at that play. Nice play. Did you know that Westbrook is picking on the another man here? Right on Gobert, right around Conley? That's insane. Westbrook is saying, who's, who's your daddy? I don't know. I, I'm just saying. Conley for picking up a two-pointer. Another time by position. Conley, that's a, that's a person I was looking at. Westbrook moving around the floor. That's the bonga. Need a lot of help over here. Westbrook, just a two. And that's a great pointer here. It's just by bonga. Moving around as Westbrook got eight. Moving and changing around without the assist of Westbrook. With the other team that just scored with an assist and scored by Westbrook, McDonovich for three. And it's missed off. Beal has got another assist, another rebound. That is two rebounds. That's that's what we're looking for. A lot of rebound here for Wizards over to Jazz. A little pump fake here, not quite yet. Robinson lays it up in. That's a four-point questioning. Four-point game over to Utah. Defense pulling him on the road. O'Neal up. Terrific play. Terrific assist on Rudy Gobert. What a nice, fancy layup. Now the next timeout is going to be on the Wizards with just 5.13 left. Now they're going to talk it over. All right, something out Banga, bring Gil in. I'll sub out Beal, and it looks like I'm going to bring... And it looks like I'm going to go ahead and uh, try, try to get Lopez for some help on the small forward, and, and the subbing in will be Bell. I'm not sure if I get this right, but I, I don't know if it's going to be the right call. And new changes on offense, I will pick up a flow. Ingles has checked in for Utah. Let's see what the best team has. It was the Clippers that were in a three-pointer lead this season, 41.8. But Jazz was so close, 39.8. I thought they were in first place already. Well... Not the big story happening in the Western Conference this far. That's the Gill with just five minutes left. 45 to 43 is your score. I'll get five. Westbrook with the same back. Three. No good. Rudy Gobert taking another rebound. Conley going another, another way to get there. Good play for Russell Westbrook with a level rebound. And the reaching foul is going to go on Joe Ingles, his first personal foul. Check out the blocks here. Yep, that was Gill that picked up a first block of the game. Nice, fantastic play here in the first half. And great rebound for, uh, for Westbrook. As Gill was saying, I'm just trying to give up, trying to give, do my best. If I can handle the better, 
I will do it. Westbrook passing over to Gill. And that'll be his first block of the season. That's a great play. Gill making another two-pointer this time. Robin, Robin, uh, Robin Lopez got on a great assist here so far without Brooke Lopez. After his brother was complaining, I thought this was a hard, tough matchup. But thanks for thanks for my brother, Brooke Lopez. He's doing great on that team. But it's okay. It happens that time for the last game of the season. That looks like it was Bonga. But it looks like it was... It was... Um, I'm, no, I'm sorry. What was the rebound over again? I don't know. Bounce pass. Folks over to Bell. Bell, that was the first block. We got another box here for the Wizards. Over to Gill. No ties about that one. A lot, of, a lot of questioning out there. Westbrook with the block. Three so far. Only one and one for Bell. One for Gill. One for West, Westbrook. Angles failed. Fills it in to get the layup. Another time position to go for the battle neck to neck run. Rudy Gobert has got another assist. Westbrook in the paint. No problem there. That's the only 10 points in this game at home. Pretty nice to see the Wizards see uh, Westbrook play on a great team. And the shot's good. Robin Lopez got his second personal foul that he was putting the neck on. But Ingles will go to the line to shoot one after a dunk was only one hand over Jill. Ingles was mashing things up here on on um, on Gill. He was not picking up at right moment. No blocks here yet for the Utah Jazz to pick up the length. Only one shot this time. 49-49. Will it be a will it be uneven broke? Will it be broken by one? Yes, it is. Only 15 to 49 to score. Drafted coming into the league. Joe Ingles has Wizards trail by one. He's become a major contributor. Len. Just trying to go back around again. And Bonga's back on the court. And it's rebounded by Clarkson. So Clarkson is picking up another pace in this run. Looking for Mitchell. The jumper was off. Favors with the rebound. Another offensive play here this time. Now he lead up by three. Neto, pass over to Blitzen. Bounce pass to Len. Neto for three. The shot was off, and Len couldn't try to recover it. Mitchell for three. And they did the same thing, too. Matthews picking up around the other end. Under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Neto again. Two attempts, no good. Mitchell with the drive. 126 just played. Mitchell streaking in the number one opportunity. Now they trail by five. Neto coming in for a number two. Len, great rebound, but now he will changing up. Restart the play from the top. Five to play. Can he take it up? And he scored it with the reverse. Winston has got another, another shot opportunity. Just almost seven points. Time out. Utah. 114 left. 54 to 51. Wizards have more time before before the third quarter comes to an end. Now let's uh, let's make some new changes here. Bonga, a little bit off the target here. I don't know why you keep running out of gas at this point. It's not enough. All right, let's go ahead and bring Robinson back in, and then we'll we'll also bring bring we'll take Matthews out, and we'll take um and we'll take uh and we'll take uh Winston on the other hand, and and Matthews on this end. Just one just one change. Robinson's checked in for Washington. 
Robinson back on the court. Never seen him playing in the third quarter. Try to help him out. Mitchell on the corner. Pass to Clarkson. Over, over Matthews. Great dig for Matthews. And Lynn got a rebound. Nice, nice work. We're down to a minute left to play in the third quarter. No choice here. Here's the three for Matthews. And the shot's good. They tied it up by 54. Second basket here for three. Matthews has got five points. 45 to seconds to play. Mitchell over Robinson. And that was off the target. Matthews has got another rebound. Ghetto picking up a number one. Bounce pass to Robinson. Moves it over to Matthews. Winston in the lead. Rebound by Len. Picked it back up, and they have a lead by two. Nice rebound by Len. Three pointer. Never blocking's out again. Neto with another rebound. Ten seconds to play before the third quarter ends. Neto picking it back around. No shot. No shot here. It won't count. And it will and it will leave it off from here. 56 to 54. What an intense game this comes up for the Wizards to come make a comeback. Without a loss in last season. Let's see if they can punch their win in season five. And now let's have a look at the State Farm assist of the game. And here's what we are seeing. Here's what we are looking at. Brooke Lopez. Just great help here from, uh, from Russell Westbrook. After Brooke, after Robin Lopez was playing with the Bucks last season, they weren't they they didn't um, they didn't play against the um, against the Rockets before with the in season four. I wasn't making things up there. I wasn't gonna try to do it. But that's the way it goes, team. Nothing much is happening. So it looks like an alley hoop was putting up a successful run on Mitchell. Now we got a, we got another we got another fantastic play for the Jazz to pick up. Neto right from the middle. Pass over to Robinson. Shot's good. Wide open. Wide open look. Wide shot. Six points for uh, Robinson. Just only three made so far. Mitchell coming back in around. O'Neal shooting a three. It's off the arc. Rebounded by Lynn. A little bit off the target again for uh, for the Jazz to pick things up. Only Mitchell was going to make it up. Pass over to Neto. Neto picking it up. Oh, he almost made it, but he missed it. Wow, tough D on on the Jazz to pick up. Conley just got it again. He looked like he was not. He was having like not fun on the court. He's like. Picking things up. I'm all alone. Play it goes. And great shot for Bradley Beal making a shot without the foul. Putting up on a putting on offense. Derek Favors has got his second personal foul. Watch that play one more time. Look at this. This is where you call the reverse up and over the underneath the underneath in between the hand. And right in the bucket. How crazy is that? That build is keeping things going. Only nine points ahead. Now they're going to pick up one shot here at the line. Beal just made one free throw. Free for nine left to play. 61 to 58 is your score. And they are trailing up by three. I don't know if they did trail up by four. Not sure. O'Neal, pass to Conley. And it's banking in without the foul on Westbrook. A lot of determination going on here for the Jazz. They want to pick things up where they left off. Not a close game to pick it up from here. But Westbrook going again. 
and try to go for the rebounding battle, but another miss by Washington. Conley for the lead. Yes! He made it up again. Great pass by Bogdanovich. Now they up and lead by one. Western Westbrook has to change things differently. Did he put an ankle breaking on Mike Conley? Did he do that? The ball's lost. Bonga lost the ball. Conley. Uh-oh. Oh, Conley saved. You never messed me up. That's what the player gets things tough. Don't mess on me, Westbrook. Brooks, look, Robin Lopez missing a number three without picking up a tie. They're going to need to change things up a bit. McDonavich coming in on number two is good. Timeout, Wizards, 4 12 remaining. Defensively, is not picking up the right moment to look for. Washington calls timeout. But this needs to be a good offense target to go for. So I'm making things, I'm making a difference. Looks like Bonga is, I'm going to sell out Bonga, Jill in, and Robinson. And I'll bring Matthews up. And hopefully on that time, I will sub out Russell Wolf. No. I will sub out Robin Lopez and bring Len back in. Let's pick up another, let's pick another offensive strategy. Let's go, let's go, let's go for 86 Celtics motion. Let's try to go for another one here. That's going to be it. 4 12 to go. Let's catch up on David Aldridge in the sideline. Well, during the break, I listened in on Scott Brooks' huddle. I told the players, you guys are too talented to be playing this lack of days ago. Push the ball up the floor, get out on the break, and get to the fast break. I just said to the good pass. Great pass, great shot here for Westbrook, and he's back on target. 12 points. Now they're coming in to just go for another break on run. Bogdanovich, pass over to Mitchell. Mitchell in the paint. On the double. Mitchell missing it, and it's, and it's Jill with the rebound. Gill, a dunk, and Rushbrook is saying, Woo wee, that's why that, I just, I was like, you're on fire again. Utah making another timeout here. A little bit close up here, 66 to 65. Part of the game. Well, I'm not telling you what happened here, but that's more realistic, I was seeing. That was really hard on that. And now here's a here's a player of the game. New Balance goes to Donovan Mitchell. Ridiculous performance. How can you be so good on this court if you don't see him making crossovers on each player? No blocks. No, uh, no fumble ball, only the alley-oop, crazy. Just enough crazy, I was just seeing. Bogdanovich cleared the three, no good, playing with the rebound. 3.15 left, Bogdanovich only got two pointers in first and second half, but it seems like he's not picking up his score. Beal, has to go, Beal. And a layup, but it's fouled on McDonovich. First foul on Utah. And now Beal will go to the line to shoot two. He's got a lot of pressure on offense. Doc Brooks wanted, wanted to tell the players to warn that they got to shrink, shrink the floor. They have to warn all of them. Same thing with Quinn Snyder. Try to get a better play on, on defense. That's more realistic than you got to do. Beal made the first one. And now the chance to take the lead up by one. Beal made two free throws and he takes up the lead by one. Great play for Beal to pick it up here. Just about three minutes to play here in the, in the final quarter. 
Mitchell over again, and he picked it up. Only one and one on, on each team. Nobody is picking up on Mitchell. They stopped the clock at like 2.53 left to play. It looks like I am going to like, like go ahead and try to, try to like focus the player on Mitchell. We need some boxes of the post. We'll see what he can do. Now, uh, Bradley Beal seems like he wants to go off the court. I'm go I'll go ahead and sub back Robinson in. That's all I need to know. They still got more time before the quarter comes to an end, so it looks like it might be enough time to make a change up. 2.50 to play. Here's Westbrook. Len right over to the three pointer. Up against Gobert, now past the Robinson. Moving the ball over to Matthews. Moves it up. Shots off. More time here, and looks like Conley, he makes a layup. 10 points over over Westbrook. I mean, over Beal. That's a crazy looking score that we are just looking for. Matthews for three. Rebound by Westbrook. New changing going on here. Land up. And the foul is going to go on Rudy Gobert. His first third team foul on Utah. Stop the clock at 2.03 left. Looks like the two point chance will be for Len to pick up by one. Before the second to last timeouts on Utah. Or what? Or last timeout for the Wizards. Land made a good shot here. Now he needs one more to pick up one to trail by one. Coming up for the next game we have is the Magics versus the Warriors as Orlando Magics are at San Francisco to play against Stephen Curry's team. And then it will be the Sixers eyeing on the Nuggets here at Philadelphia at, for, for the next couple of games. Nikolai Jokic and Joe and Ben Simmons picking up a lot of pointer to go for a strategy run. Not just quite enough to get there. Second to last time out will be the Wizards. Only 2:03 remaining. Might be close enough to get the, to call. So bring up for the Matthew for Matthews, and we'll bring it back. Uh, Beal in, and then uh, keep Robinson. I'll sub out. Uh, I'll sub out Gill, and I'll bring back uh, Robin Lopez, and of course, um, Len. I will be moving it over to the point forward position. Not just quite enough to get there, but that's more interest. So both team only has one timeout left. Utah and Wizards. Two minutes to play in the four, four final quarter. O'Neal, no shot. Rebound by Beal. 150 to play here, and there's a chance. Robinson for three. Yes! What a play! Robinson has got a first three-pointer, or second three-pointer, assist by Robin Lopez. Play. Oh, they tied it up by 72. They got that close game to go for the net call. Looks like the Wizards are struggling in that fourth, and now the field goal lead puts up by Jazz. Shots good by Robinson. Fouls on Bogdanovich. That was a play-ass kick. I can't believe that the Wizards are making comebacks after a loss in the last season. This is crazy. Robinson only one shot for 75. If not, then someone has to step on D.
He made the shot. Great play for Robinson. Now they got a minute and a half to play. We're coming down to the wire. Clarkson against Beal. Clarkson going right in the paint. Shots off, and it's Westbrook with the rebound. Floppy step here, then picking it up. Got to pick up a pump fake, but it's Conley with the steal. Here it goes. O'Neal picking up a up by one. This is close. I don't think nobody is going to handle the pressure. 50 seconds. Westbrook trying to figure it out. Robinson right in the corner. Bounce pass. And they keep the ball alive. With just 41.2 seconds, shot clock down to 10. We're just a deep. No player could reach. Conley rolling it back around. Passes over to Clarkson. 30 seconds to play. O'Neal with the screen. With the shot. And they got it in. They pick up the lead. Beal has got his first foul again. Stop the clock at 25.2. Now Scott Brooks got brushed up again. He got brushed up, bumped up again. Now it looks like Clarkson is going to go ahead and go for one shot, and the Wizards have a chance to take a tie. Or pick up a three-pointer for a one-point lead in the game. He made it. Last time out will be the Wizards. So it looks like we're going to make one last change on offense. I will just do. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, try to keep an eye on that. Eye on the shot when we come back. And one change here as Bell is something for, for Lang. 25 seconds to play. Will they pick up a tie or a lead? Move it up, tying it, no good. And it looks like the foul is going to go on Westbrook. First personal foul, 14.2 seconds. One, two on one for Conley. Looks like they're going to have to like stop the pressure. Conley make the shot. And it looks like the Wizards are not going to be able to pick up the win. Yeah, they will not handle the lead, and that will be the game. This is a knockout straight opportunity again. Wizards picking up the lost three, and that is it. The Jazz make the win over the Wizards with a devastation run. And after they pick up a loss against the Nuggets, this was not a close call. This was really close, that happens. After the Nuggets make the win. And now the Wizards are on silent right now. Kindly make the shot. That's it. That's it. The game is over. The game is over. The Jazz takes a win. All the support for Jazz are just knocking him crazy. Seven seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook kicks to Robinson. On deep. A little deep, but no shot. That's the end, folks. Jazz picks up a, a crushing win over the Wizards, 81 to 75. A tough loss comes up for the Wizards for this season right now. Only one were to win at home and two wins for the away games. And now let's head over to David Aldridge for the finishing court side. David. Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. You picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? I feel like we're going to focus on the best side defensively and we'll just have to come back and communicate. 
I'll just be focused on all. That's all we do. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Thanks for joining us for our special night of NBA 2K21 of Season 5. We will be back with another with another game as the Magic take on against the Warriors here in San Francisco. I will find out if I can play it with Evan online, if he can do it with me, if I can give it a shot. Well, we're going to have to discuss it through on Xbox Live if we can do it anyway. But... But the next game is going to be an all-star game. It's coming along. It's coming. So you may not know what's going to happen right there. You remember? Remember this game? The um, remember this one? Team LeBron against Team Giannis. Well, it looks like we're going to like see what happens at this point. If there's any messing things up on the on the other end, not just enough to go through, but I got nothing to say about this one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game. Just stay tuned because we will be back with another NBA 2K21 game. And we'll find out which player can handle it all. The best of the best. With that being said, peace out bitches. For as a while as the NBA 2K21 dial. Good night everyone. <laughs>